Okay, so. The underlying energy, y'all, is the king of swords. Y'all gonna be cutting some people up this week. Somebody's gonna be cutting somebody up. Somebody's just not having it. All right, this is some very serious energy when the King of Swords comes up. This could be that you identify as someone that you know as your partner or as your partner's person, which could be an a, um, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I get this feeling that this is you guys cutting people up this week, just like saying no. Nope, you know, this is my oh gosh, and the reason why is because you're coming up because you you know you laying down the foundation. You're you know you're feeling very committed, very stable. Um, you are the pretty much the Don Data of the situation. Queen, the King of Pentacles, what else? Ten of Cups, yeah, Ten of Pentacles, rather. Yeah, this is super committed. You are like the head of the household, Queen or Queen, King or Queen. Um, and you guys are feeling very stable, and you also know your truth this week as well. That's what I feel. Now, the Kings, I always see you guys because you guys are fixed signs. So, with that being said. Let's go ahead and get started. So the King of Swords in your heart is the, in your underlying energy. Serious energy. Somebody's going to get cut this week, potentially. You're going to cut somebody. And I don't see anybody cutting you. I see you cutting somebody else. The current state of the situation in your love life right now is there's a feeling of being trapped. Not able to really see what's going on in front of you. Like, there's some things that's going on. And um, I feel like it's like it just feels very entrapping, okay? Um, there's a lot of stuff going on mentally and you can't and it can't be you know it's hard to see when you know your thoughts are kind of going crazy like that and making you feel like there's no other options like there's this this feeling that there's no really there's no other options um, you kind of feel like your back is pushed up against the wall at this point that's what it kind of looks like now where the destination of this relationship of this love life wants to go towards i feel like it has a lot to do with leaving this four of pentacles or at least feeling like you're in a place of stability but at the same time no understanding that there is some sort of purge because honestly with the with the four of pentacles this is feeling of kind of holding on to things that make you feel safe that make you feel stable and it may not be exactly get you anywhere fast all right and as a matter of fact it kind of stops any sort of manifestation from here on forward especially when there's a lot of holding on so there could be that somebody's clinging to you um or that you want to be set free from this clinginess um there could be that this is a situation in which there is a lot of holding on to comfort zones and if in if there's a desire to get out of this situation where there's a lot of you know being closed off and not being able to really feel like there's other app options or the avenues or just feel like you're trapped in a situation it will potentially most likely has, has a lot to do with the comfort zone what makes you know what makes someone feel comfortable and the reason why i say that breaking free from this breaking free from this comfort zone is what is pretty much desired here because of the king of swords here the king of swords doesn't have a comfort zone King of Sword has his truth, and he will slice and dice anybody that stands in his way from getting from what he wants, or standing in the way of threatening anything that he wants. He wants to feel stable. He wants to feel committed to you. I feel like the relationship is bringing out a hard, like a really strong, like amount of commitment out of the, to the couples. That you know, if there's a couple here, or that this is somebody here that's you know dating. Uh, there could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that you all are dealing with, uh, but I really feel like. You know, there's all you know. There's this, there's this down to earth feeling, um, with you know this feeling of being very grounded in this situation, or in the situation that you're in, or with the person that you're dealing with, or this or this person is providing some very grounded energy. But at the same time, if there's a little bit of, there's no passion. There's no. There's really no you in this, because the, if this was, if I saw you, right, this, I would saw the, I would have saw the King of King of Wands. I've seen the King of Wands. So, with that being said, this feeling of being trapped, I feel like, has a lot to do with just breaking free from the comfort zone. And the reason why you have, you know, this comfort zone is here and this feeling of being stuck, it hasn't been, you know, busted out yet, has a lot to do with this Ace of Wands. I think there's, and now, typically the Ace of Wands doesn't just, you know, it doesn't, doesn't not happen because, um, because then the, uh, what's causing the situation to not be this way. And in a lot of ways, I feel like the Ace of Wands is honestly saying that um, it's not really taking advantage of the of the new beginning here. I'm not saying you guys are not. This could be someone else that's not taking advantage of the new beginning. 
Um, but this Ace of Wands talks about something something passionate, something new, something sparking. And it's because of something that was lost in the past. Something that was dev you know, that was lost and it was devastating. Okay. The two of cups is here though. It does indicate that there's still a relationship within this situation, but because this was because of a certain loss, something that was lost very badly, I feel like the four of pentacles is what's keeping this person or keeping somebody, you know, sane in this relationship, sane in this situation. Um, even though it's really not, because they've you know, this person is wanting to go out and purge, go out and feel like they, you know, have new things to go for. Or at least feel like there's an is there's something going on. But there's nothing really going on because this person potentially has shifted their focus. So with that said, the new beginning is kind of on standstill. This new exciting new beginning is on standstill, and I, honestly, in a way, this person, whoever this you know this is about, uh, Leo, this the new beginning has to be it has to be started. It has to be initiated by taking a risk, by going out to, out of the comfort zone and making it happen. Now, the best path to follow is the Ace of Swords, which talks about utilizing the new perspective, utilizing, you know, this new way of communicating, and, you know, honestly, using your wits right now. Um, this is a new beginning all around, and I feel like, well, not all around, actually, the Fool is a new beginning all around. This is a very passionate new beginning, especially when it comes to dealing with an ex or dealing with somebody from the past, which I can see here. Um, this is a this is one of those cards, cause especially if there was something that was heartbreaking um, in the past, something that like made you something that made somebody feel really depressed. Especially if there was still something there, still a relationship, but still a connection. Most that most importantly, but there is some new perspective to gain from this situation. They, there's something that was that can be learned from this situation, and it's going to require this person to see this as an opportunity or a learning period or learning experience rather than something that was just just lost right because you do lose something of course but this you know everything happens for a reason everything pushes us to our highest potential and through our you know through our struggles and even our you know our mistakes or failures whatever you want to call those things those things actually help us to make you know better relationships better lives um, stabler um, and stabler commitments uh, you know what I mean so it's almost like this ace of swords is saying utilize the situation look at it very logically it's, that's what the king of swords here look at it with 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 a logical standpoint I'm almost being Aquarius but look at it very look at it for what it has offered you look at what the you know look at the uh, look at the situation from what you've learned okay and I'm not saying this is just you I feel like this is the other person the Ace of Swords is saying, utilize your, your, your new way of communicating, this new, this truth, this, this is clarity here, and it can potentially break this, you know, break whatever this feeling is of feeling trapped in your situation. Now, in your feelings, you do really the world, okay? So this is a, not a bad energy. I really like this. This is like success and feeling good about where you've come from, um, where you've been pushing towards, you know, you've, you're, you, you're successful in this cycle that you've completed so this is a really good sign i like that i do get this feeling though that your hopes and fears that's coming up here is that you want to remain somewhat stable somewhat grounded in your relationships and you also want to be you want to feel comfortable but you want to feel like you have actually reached some sort of goal you um not necessarily reached some sort of goal but you want to be surrounded by your abundance i don't know i feel like the fear portion of this is that you may have to lose you know your comfort zone to get what you want to get you know you may have to leave um this precious garden that you've made or someone else's garden or you know someone else that's happy with being single like that's the concern are they gonna want to be committed to me are they gonna want to you know to be in a relationship with you you know what i mean i think the fear could be that this person that you're dealing with may not want to be single may, may want to stay single maybe or this person may you know you, you know you're hoping that this person will step outside of the comfort zone and commit with you potentially leo um you know this can go either way um so the outcome shows the devil now i'm not really upset about this card being in the outcome because this does talk about feeling trapped in a relationship but it does indicate that there is this, you know, there is a need to find one's power, one's strength in the relationship, one's strength 
in their abilities to execute certain things, certain tasks, right? You can do whatever you want to do, Leo. And even if the situation looks very, you know, it doesn't look like it's got your back. It doesn't look like maybe that the situation is, um, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like the situation, um, is really promoting you to be free. Because, because like like uh, we were talking about, these two, the Eight of Swords and then uh, and the Devil, they can go hand in hand. Like you know, the, the thoughts can be overwhelming, and you can and you, sometimes people may feel like they can't get out of the situation. But the Devil saying you can leave anytime you want to. I'm not gonna keep you. Um, it's the situation that you may be in that really, the, 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 you know, well, it's really how you see your situation and how you see yourself, most importantly. And the King of Swords, he's very confident in his ability to wield his sword and to push it out, you know, not push it out there. Uh, but um, to wield his sword, speak his truth, he's all about the freedom that he has within, you know, with himself and, uh, you know, his, you know, freedom regarding, his, uh, regarding others. But the point of it all is that nobody is going to bind the King of Swords. So, this is you, like I was saying in the very beginning, this is you guys. I really feel like you guys are going to cut somebody, you're going to do some some crazy stuff. Not some crazy stuff, but you guys are going to take care of business. And the devil card is saying, okay, yeah, this is a situation that may need to be taken care of. Uh, it may not be toxic, it may not be, definitely may not be ideal, but the situation is that you, may, if you feel trapped, you will not, you know, you will have to tap into your, your serious energy that's that I'm not taking no ish sort of energy that you guys have okay because you know you leos have that energy king of wands don't take no mess either but the, the, i think the king of swords is up coming up because you're going to be slicing somebody okay but the whole point of it all is is that you may feel trapped and you're not you're not feeling that being backed into a corner kind of mess all right you know feel you don't want to be feeling vulnerable and i feel like you want to feel strong you want to feel like you you know you've got some you know some you you want to you want to just show that you're not playing you're not someone to mess with. That's what I feel like, Leo. Wow, wow, Leo. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at your whispers of love. What do they have to say for this week? What do they have to say for this week? Hopefully, it's a caution for everybody else. Oh wow. Okay, and it says, appreciate this moment, um, appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow in love. That's so true. That's the five of uh, cups in the ace of swords there that we were just talking about. <clears throat> and it's kind of hard to appreciate a moment of loss, but the thing here is looking at what you can gain from that loss, okay? You can, you always gain from something that happens, even if it's if it seems and feels this fortunate. You know what I'm saying? It feels unfortunate. Because you can you have like, you know, you have um you have something valuable that no one can take away from you, which is knowledge. Right? Let's go ahead and take a look at your wisdom of the oracle. Well, okay, well, if they were meant to come out, then they'll come out again. Um, yeah, let's, let's shuffle for real though, okay. Well, all right. And the card that y'all have for you, Elizabeth Oracle, is Never Ending Story. Oof. And Never Ending Story talks about, like, feels like the situation just doesn't stop. It doesn't, it just, it's never ending, obviously, right? It just keeps going and keeps happening, keeps happening, and keeps happening. Like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know if you guys have been dealing with somebody lately that's been really difficult to, to handle. But look at that. This is also the, the, um, Whispers of Love. Um is the number of this card is 33 and this is 30, 37 but y'all you guys could be dealing with some individuals that are just really difficult to deal with okay um and they make you feel like they're not you know they're not trying to expand or not they're, they're just keeping you they're holding you back in a way yeah speaking in truth is going to definitely be important here but knowledge is king this week knowledge is king 
especially with this eclipse. All right. You always lose something with the full moon, I believe, right? So, you know, you lose something with the full moon, um, and you gain something with the new moon. So something that has to be, uh, something is may, may be lost in the process of that eclipse, but it's ultimately going to show you your strength and your truth and, and strength in your relationships, right? Show you who you truly are in a relationship. 